Hello everyone, this video is the final installment in the series of creating the family of a fully parametric kitchen cabinets. The link to the previous 4 videos is given below in the description box. Don't forget to watch them before you continue watching this video. You can not only change the height, width, depth and sheet thickness of the cabinets, but you can also open and close the cabinets and drawers with the help of these tutorials. In this tutorial, I have created the family of a parametric kitchen cabinet door which you can rotate at any given angle. But before we start, let me remind you to like and share my videos, leave a comment below and subscribe to my channel. Also, if you have any kind of difficulty or query related to Revit, you can ask me anytime. So now let's start with the tutorial. This is the template file which I have created in the part 2 of this uh, series but I have forgotten to add the uh, rotating reference line uh, in this template file. So for that place a reference line at this point then align this at align this reference line at this point with the help of with the help of these two reference planes and then lock it down. Place an angular dimension between this reference plane and the reference line. Assign uh, the angular dimension and angular parameter to this dimension. I am going to name it door angle. Now assign the parameter of width to this reference line. After saving this file, make another copy of it so that this template file is not destroyed. It can be used in future. Select extrusion from the create tab. Set the reference plane to this reference line and then draw a rectangle like this. Give an offset of 1 inches. Place the dimension between these two larger lines and then assign the parameter of sheet thickness to it. Click OK to create the extrusion. Then go to the front elevation and then adjust the extrusion with the help of these arrow with the help of these arrows. But uh, don't attach these with any reference plane then place a dimension like this and then make it equal now this uh, extrusion can be adjusted when you change the height but for this cabinet door i don't need this movement parameter so i'm just going to delete this parameter by changing its value to 0 inches. Then load the family of handle which I have created in the part 3 of this series and then place it like this. Align this and then lock it down. Make sure to align this with the cabinet door. Then place a dimension like this. I'm going to Keep this dimension at 1 inches and then lock it down so that the handle is always at 1 inches from this distance. Then place an angular dimension between this reference plane and the handle. And then assign the parameter of door angle to this angular dimension as well. Now go to the front elevation and then move this door handle with the help of move command.
place an a, a dimension between the top of the door extrusion and the handle and then lock that dimension 1 inches as well so that the door handle is always at a distance of 1 inches from the top irrespective of the height of the door then load this family of door in this kitchen cabinet file which I have created in the part 1 of this series Place the door at its desired position. You can rotate the family with the help of space bar on the keyboard. After selecting the align command, select this reference plane and then select this reference plane which is, to be, which is visible in the blue line and then lock it down. Move this door towards this point. Then select this family of door and give it the uh, parameters as shown. So that the parameters of this cabinet door and the parameters of this kitchen cabinet file they uh, they uh, like. Uh, match with each other then go to the placement side elevation and then again select the line command select this reference plane and then select this blue line and then lock it down and now you can see the door has been placed at its correct position then in this dialog box link the parameters of this kitchen door with the parameters of the kitchen cabinet file. Create a new parameter in the kitchen cabinet file parameter dialog box with the name door angle and then uh, link this parameter with the with the one which we have just created. Now select and mirror this door. In the similar manner, align this door in the same way in which we have aligned the previous one. Now select both of these doors and then copy and paste them at this position. But I need to change the height and width of this door. So for that select them and from here select the parameter of drawer and cabinet width and for its height create a new parameter with the name small door height assign the parameter to this assign the formula to this newly created parameter which is total height of cabinets divided by 2 Select these doors and then uh, link that uh, parameter to this one. But the door has uh, has not been uh, aligned correctly. So for that, adjust the formula bit. I'm going to divide it by 
1.3 and now they look fine now let's check if the parameters are working correctly I have forgotten to align these small doors so go to the uh, floor plan hide the uh, drawers which are above them and then lock it down in the similar manner which, in which we have aligned the aligned and locked the la large doors and now you can see that you change the width of any of these cabinets you change the height depth uh, the, all of the other uh, cabinets and doors will and handles everything will automatically adjust itself in this way you can use this family file in a number of your projects you don't have to create them again and again this is what is the benefit of parameters in Revit even if your client asks for a little change you don't have to um, you know uh, change them or make them from start or you don't have to worry about it you can just adjust them by adding a little by adding the value in this dialog box and you can also create a number of renders in, and number of possibilities So that's all for today. I hope you like this tutorial. If you have any kind of difficulty, you can ask me anytime. Do give your feedback in the comments below. I will meet you guys in the next video. Till then, goodbye and take care. And most importantly, don't forget to like, share and subscribe.